Yo, yo, it's me, Justin. Uh, haven't been here in a while, but I decided to come back, and I'm going to start um, reviewing niche websites, going through, checking them out, just uh, talking about you know, what they got going on, what they're doing right, in my opinion, what they're doing wrong, shooting the shit. I mean, really just fucking bullshitting for about half an hour or so, and if, uh, if your website ends up on here, uh, I'm sorry. So, with that being said, we're going to take a look at audioreputation.com today. Uh, it looks like it's all about just, uh, well, shit, I'll start scrolling a little bit. Stereo, headphones, speakers, anything to do with in-home audio equipment, car audio equipment, outdoor audio equipment, headphones, the whole shebang a bang just a lot of money posts to the using of uh, Amazon affiliates to make money. But let's see. Let's uh, head on over to SEM Rush to just check out, you know, their life cycle, their lifespan, whatever they got going on from the past. Check this shit out. All right. It's run audioreputation.com, blah, blah, blah. The website was created in October. I went back. The first post was in December. January, all right, we're starting to see some traffic pick up. February, all right, March, three months, boom. Uh, must have been an expired domain. Looking at the uh, amount of backlinks, it has 1.5 thousand uh, within, what, a few months of being alive. But I'm really thinking that's a huge contributing factor to their uh, organic keywords that people are searching for. They got 135 uh, keywords in the top, at least top three at the time of this recording, uh, and many more as you go down uh, for some pretty uh, big keywords as well. Look at this loudest Bluetooth speaker ranked three uh, with 18,000 searches per month. So they're probably they're getting a good amount of uh, traffic. Uh, that's without a doubt. Blah blah. blah. Looking at the backlinks, yeah, it's definitely an exp it was an expired domain. They picked up a great one, and I scroll down a little bit further and peep this out. This is a really uh, not necessarily black hat, maybe more gray. It really depends if this guy or gal, whoever runs this website, is actually going to pay out on this scholarship. Because if you notice on their page, you really can't get to their scholarship page from their homepage. Uh, you go to the about us. I'm not. I'm not seeing anything for this scholarship. Contact us. Still nothing. Privacy policy. Uh, uh, comments, media contacts, uh, analytics. Let's just do a quick. Anything for. Nothing for scholarship. Hear the little ding ding. That's the sound of we can't find the shit you're looking for. Privacy policy word on there. Terms of service or terms of service. Just more whatever. Let's see if it's down here. Maybe a, a footer menu. I'm not seeing anything. Disclosure. Just a regular affiliate disclosure. I'm not seeing anything. However, if you do end up Googling audio reputation scholarship, they do have a scholarship program, which for those those of you that don't know, you this is how what was that twenty eight beast eight beast one of those websites like big popular niche websites from back in the day. Uh, I think eight beast basically is doing the same shit, reviewing Bluetooth speakers, headphones, whatever the case is. Basically, like regular audio equipment for everyday people, not you know musicians or anything like that. What. Uh, this gray hat strategy is they create a scholarship program in order to get .edu backlinks. .edu is education. Uh, you know, you create this page. You say, okay, yeah, you got to. All right, we have a winner that will be announced uh, June thirtieth. Blah blah blah. Write an essay, which whatever. And what they do is they email a bunch of like uh, either webmasters, like some kind of secretarial position for schools, colleges, and say, hey, I have this scholarship opportunity for students. Let them know. Include them, like, include this on your website so people can find it. This was 
was done a lot back in, I want to say, 2015, 2016. Obviously, it's still being done today. But that's how that, yeah, that 8 Beast website got popular back in the day. So, looking at that, that's kind of, uh, you know, it might be, might be scummy. might be a reason why they have this much progress within the first six months. And it's, it's not doing bad. But just looking at some of their posts, they have less than 30 articles written. Because uh, there's 10 per page and then there's only three pages. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have 30 articles written. Uh, let's see. Let's just 15 best cheap over ear headphones under $50 in 2018. That's very, very specific. It was last updated, what, five days ago? Uh, we'll see. Uh, not really what you can see because, the, you know, it doesn't say anything. But, you know, pretty, uh, pretty standard uh, comparison table. Check price. You can jump down the reviews, which is nice, but, you know, takes you straight to Amazon. It's got shop-related products right here, and it's, oh, that's nice. What he's done, or she, oh yeah, fuck it, it's a he, I don't care. What what they have done is included YouTube videos from other channels, like from YouTube channels, uh, just to add more contact, or content Candy has put out a warning that these headphones have bass you can feel. Let's see if these are, I don't even, these are definitely not even from the same channel. Uh, okay, this one's from Your Average Consumer. Got the check mark Gaging Gadgets. Could have said that from the little uh, icon in the bottom left corner of the YouTube video pitch image. But yeah, so he includes a video for every single uh, headphone he's reviewing. And he's not the one making the video, which is pretty smart i'd say it really adds a lot of oh there's a broken let's see so today i'll oh, I take it back one of the youtube videos the thumbnail wasn't loading it looked like it was a either blocked in this country or the video was deleted so that's that's one thing you could take away uh include youtube videos for any like mega fucking i don't even know how many this has to be five six thousand words just it goes on forever. Let's check out another one. Uh, no, 20, no. Best noise cancel headphones and earbuds for sleeping in 2018. Yes, the, uh, you can't use these to sleep in 2019. It's only for 2018. Same thing. Noise canceling headphones. He's got six. It's another comparison table. And, yep, he's pretty much templated out. You got the quick little blurb about it what's in the box which is an unboxing video from somebody else on youtube things we like things we don't boom that's it and you can check the price and that's pretty much going down the line so if you're looking to normalize your website this is a great uh, thing to do with make templates start off just boom all right we're gonna have a little 200 words introduction all right in this guy's case, he includes a YouTube video, which I'm sure when people pop on these pages, his pro his his bounce rate's probably low as hell, and his uh, time on site is probably just incredible. Uh, just looking at that, you know, you got eight minute videos times ten. People could, if they were really dead set on like really doing the research on headphones, I could spend up to an hour just on one of these articles, which is pretty pretty cool, I guess. Uh, He's, he's doing something right. Uh, as far as social goes, it doesn't look like there's much going on on any of these. Uh, uh, it's, Facebook has 41 pages or 41 likes. It's got 273 followers on Twitter, but zero engagement. So I'm thinking he doesn't really either bought him. I'm assuming he bought him because yeah, there's nothing going on here. That screams, we have people interacting with you. Except this random uh, top 10 loudest Bluetooth speakers, 2018 post from November of 2017. Uh, the only post with any engagement with 29 retweets and 40 likes, which is probably, judged by the fact that he has a reputation 
or not reputation, uh, scholarship page, you probably end up just like, oh, let's see if I can uh, buy some fucking likes, retweets, whatever. One follower on Google Plus, 414 followers on uh, Pinterest, but still, like, there's these 31 pins, and they're not actually, they're not, like, made for Pinterest. They're just images from his articles, so I don't know what he's got going on there. Like, me more bought followers. Same with Instagram, 73 followers, no posts, no uh, not following anybody, so probably bought. Wow, so it's definitely a, you know, an Amazon affiliate website. It doesn't seem to be much uh, else as far as uh, making money. Uh, it's got a pretty normal email sign up to get entering interesting stuff in your inbox. Doesn't even have like a. Uh, opt-in or, or not an opt-in but a uh like a i keep i want to say bait but bait is not what i want to say um bribe if you will whatever like that's such a scummy way of putting it but more or less bribe to get your email address just no it's just like hey and then i guess he'll know if you sign up for this you definitely want whatever he's sending you uh it's probably it's probably better, especially for a website like this. Like, what do you got? What do you got to bribe them with? The fucking top ten audio equipment you need for your dorm room or some dumb shit like that, you know? <clears throat> so that's that's this audioreputation dot com. Uh, you know, um, as I do this more, if I do this more. I'll kind of clean up a little bit, have a set uh, progression, talk about a few more things, but this was more like a trial run, see if this is cool. If you like it, let me know. If not, uh, well, uh, I don't care if you don't like it. Let me know if you don't like it, so then I can argue with you in the comments section. Peace.